Hey guys, I hope you're ready for five days of extreme deep cleaning. I've been getting that itch to do some deep cleaning and that's what we're going to be doing today. I hope you're ready. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to get moving. Hello to all of my wonderful YouTube friends. Welcome to Jamie's Journey. And before we get into it all today, thank you for being here. I always want to make for sure that you know that I appreciate you. I know how busy I am. I know how busy you are. So the fact that you're hanging out with me today, if it's for a minute, 10 minutes, for the whole 40 minutes, whatever it is, I appreciate you. So Thank you, and I hope when you're done watching this video, you're ready to get moving, you're ready to get something done. I know sometimes when we're looking at our long to-do list, it can seem overwhelming, but I got you. We're in this together, so let's get ready, and we're going to get things done today. So every Sunday I kind of sit down, I plan out my week, I look at what we have going on, I chat with Mike and I say, okay, what's your schedule? What meetings do you have going on this week? He coaches Avery's basketball team and two softball teams. She's not in two softball teams right now. She has one with our community that will start here in the spring and then she plays on a travel softball team that will end before the spring season. But he is a, an assistant coach for the travel team and the, the head coach for the community spring team. So he's usually busy in addition to his job. So every Sunday night we kind of sit down, we talk about, okay, what's our week look like with everything we have going on and we kind of plan out everything. So I look at what do I need to clean? What appointments do we have? Meals, my workouts and all of that. And I started thinking, okay, with March approaching sooner rather than later, I'm starting to think of spring cleaning and I'm a little bit excited for spring cleaning because last year I did not do any spring cleaning because we had just moved into our house so there was no spring cleaning to be done and I'm finally feeling that itch to do some deep spring cleaning so this is kind of like the preview video before we really start tackling every single room individually and deep cleaning every inch of every room so we're going to be deep cleaning today. Um, this was, I'm just kind of bringing you along our week as I kind of like divide up what I needed to get done. The, the bulk of this, the deep cleaning in today's video will be a little bit later on here. Um, but this was just a random day. I was like, okay, girls, this room is a mess. Let's come in here and let's clean it up. They have a table and chairs that they had gotten for Christmas that I wanted to bring in here. So they were helping mom and we're going to get it cleaned up um, and bring the new table and chairs. They've been playing school together, all three of them. So I wanted to get that in there so they could have a place to play school.
So as you'll see, this video is broken up in about five days. So there are days where I get a lot of cleaning done, like a bulk of the cleaning done. And there's days where I can maybe get one room clean. Like in this day, I was able to just clean our room. So I know you're seeing me clean a lot, but just remember it is spread out over pretty much an entire week. And it just kind of depends on if the twins are home. So my oldest is in school full time, but the twins are home. They go to school three days a week, but only for two and a half hours. And um, they're home two full days and then they're home in the afternoons on the day they go to school. So my days are all kind of structured around them. Um, but yeah, I was just cleaning up our bedroom and and here I'm going to use the Jaws glass cleaner, but this glass cleaner is specifically safe for cleaning electronics. I love a cleaner that you can use in multiple areas on multiple surfaces. So not only does it clean glass mirrors great, you can use it on your electronics. So I was here wiping down the TV. So cleaning the walls because I have kids with dirty hands. That's how it goes with kids. So I frequently find smudges all over the wall. So I was using my wall cleaner, Zep wall, foaming wall cleaner and the wall cleaning tool. I will have both linked in the description. But here I was using the Jaws disinfectant cleaner to clean under the toilet seat. And yes, you can take your toilet seat off. You'll be surprised at the mess, it, the surprise messes that you find under here. Honestly, I, I took this toilet seat off maybe a month and a half ago and it's already gross. And I start, my mind starts going and I'm thinking, how does it get this gross in such a short period of time? but I try not to think about it too much because I don't think I want to know. But yes, you can take your toilet seat off. I was spraying the Jaws disinfectant. I did let it sit for a few minutes and I came back in, was wiping it all off and getting that toilet seat sparkling clean. So here in a minute, you're gonna see me clean the window panes in the back hallway door, and then the door out to our patio with my Bissell Steam Shot hand steamer. And I just wanna tell you that when I'm doing that, I kind of hover the steam shot, the hand steamer over the window. I don't put the steam shot directly on the window. I just kind of hover it and the steam just does such a good job of cleaning those window panes. And then I wipe it with a micro microfiber cloth or an e-cloth. This is, in my opinion, the best way to get my windows clean.
So I'm getting ready to clean our stairs, the carpet on our stairs. I don't think I've ever cleaned the stairs on going upstairs. So I wanted to deep clean the stairs and the landing carpet. And this is the Bissell Revolution with Hydro Steam. And so it's great because there's a steam option where you can use the steam mode. So if you have like a stain, you can use a steam mode and then go in and clean it normal, like a normal carpet cleaner. So this is a pretty cool innovative carpet cleaner but i was going to clean the carpet on the stairs but before i did that i wanted to wipe down the banisters and the walls and to wipe down the banisters i'm going to be using the jaws multi purpose cleaner and i do want to thank jaws for partnering with me on today's video you guys can go back for the past four years i don't think you're going to find a cleaning video where i have not used jaws cleaners in my opinion the jaws cleaners are my ride or die they are just my reliable everyday go-to cleaners so you reuse the bottles you just fill the water up to that fill water line and then you pop in the pod and jaws mission is to eliminate single-use plastic bottles so you just have to purchase the pod so it's eco-friendly and they just came out with a foaming dish spray which is 100 comparable to dawn power wash you can see me here so it's the same idea you just refill the bottle up to the fill line you pop in the pod and i did a little bit of math for you guys so if just they have multiple different options but if you get two refill pods for example that comes to $6.99, so that's two full bottles. And with my 25% off coupon code, that comes to $5.25. That comes to $2.62 a bottle. For Dawn Power Wash, it is $3.99 for a bottle. So you get a great dish spray for a fraction of the cost if you've been using Dawn Power Wash. Jaws is manufactured in Toledo, Ohio, which is where I'm from. I live in a suburb of Toledo, Ohio. They're simple, safe, effective solutions that gives everyone the chance to care for their home and take care of the planet at the same time. I cannot say enough good things about Jaws. I love all of their products. You're going to see me use their cream cleanser later on in this video in my shower. Wait till you see the magic that that cream cleanser does. I cannot recommend Jaws cleaners enough. Not only are they eco-friendly and safe cleaners, but they are also affordable. So you can get their ultimate cleaning kit, all of this. When you use my coupon code for 25% off, you can get all of this for under $35. I think it comes like $34 and some change. So they are affordable, cost-effective. I like I said, love Jaws products. I will have their cleaners and my coupon code linked in the description. If you have any questions, let me know on Instagram, here on YouTube. Let me know. I'd be ha happy to answer any of your questions, but I promise you they have wonderful, great products. Thank you again, Jaws. Thank you for making my home a lot cleaner. So again, this carpet cleaner from Bissell, it's the Hydro Steam. So if you remember, I have the Bissell Crosswave with Hydro Steam, which it's a wet dry vacuum that cleans hard flooring and area rugs. And it uses, there's a steam mode option, which is really cool. You can do like the regular just cleaning of the hard floors, or you can do the steam option. This is the model that's comparable and it's a carpet cleaner that has the attachment. Now the steam mode doesn't work for the attachment, but here in the upright carpet cleaner, you can see me using on the landing, there is a regular carpet cleaner mode, but there's also a steam mode. So if you have a sudden stain that you kind of want to use a little bit of steam to lift that stain a little bit more before you go in and clean it with the carpet cleaner, that's an option. So this is a pretty cool, innovative 
carpet cleaner. Like I said, I'll have it linked below. Um, but I don't think I've cleaned these carpets before. I know I've cleaned the basement carpets after we had our basement finished with all of the workers coming in and out. I know I cleaned those. I don't think I've cleaned the stairs going upstairs. So it was time. And I am telling you, I'm getting that itch to do more deep cleaning, more spring cleaning. It's been a little bit sunny here lately. It's getting me ready for cleaning or er, spring and some deep cleaning. Are you guys feeling that way too? One of the most satisfying parts about cleaning your carpets or stairs is looking at the bottom, what settles. Like, why was all of that dirt? It's not just dirty water, it is actual dirt you can see that was embedded into those stairs. So gross. maybe a specific room or within a room if there's an area that you don't like cleaning necessarily or it's a pain or you dread do you do you try to knock it out right away first and then tackle the easier tasks after that or do you like saving the tasks that you hate doing for at the end i think you can kind of do both. I probably do both, but more times than not, I'll tackle the hardest task or the, the task that I don't want to do first and just get it out of the way because I dread doing it. Um, so like we're in the bathroom. I don't really want to clean the shower. Hate cleaning the shower. Always have. It's just, it's a pain to clean. Um, and all of this other stuff is just a little bit easier, a little bit more smoother. And I think I'm gonna tackle the shower first to get it out of the way. But there is something to be said about saving it for last because then it's like, you just have to tell yourself, as soon as I get done with this, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I don't have to do anything else. Whereas like now I'm gonna go tackle the hardest part first and the part that I don't wanna do. And then I'm gonna be like, yeah, once I get through this, I still have more to do. So I think there's positives and negatives to both. Um, and sometimes it just depends on my mood, my energy levels, but I'm just curious. Do you pick the room or the task that you hate doing the most? Do you try to get that out of the way first and save the easier task for later on or the reverse? Let me know. But if there's anything that you really don't want to clean, you're dreading, you don't want to do it, do it with me right now. Go get your stuff. I'll wait a second. <laughs> Go get the stuff that you need, your cleaning supplies. Let's tackle that space together. Really don't want to do this, but it's got to be done and I want you to tackle it with me. <laughs> So I'm telling you, watch how good this Jaws cream cleanser does on the grout. It's insane. I was not planning on doing a ton of scrubbing. And honestly, I need to start keeping this cream cleanser up here. I keep it in our kitchen because that's what I typically use to clean the stovetop or the sink. And when it comes to cleaning the shower, sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm too lazy to go down and get the cream cleanser. 
so I brought it up this time because I didn't want to do any like major scrubbing I just wanted to use my scrub mommy sponge and so I was like oh I'll you know bring this up there and I could not believe how well it did on the grout like it you guys saw how much soap scum was on there and I'm just doing like a regular scrub like I'm not using my fancy scrubbers I'm not scrubbing too hard and it removed and lifted all of that soap scum so I'm telling you the cream jaws cream cleanser is a a plus product I use it um, here on the shower you can use I use it on my to scrub my sink my laundry sink I've used it um, for the stovetop on the oven so it's a really really good product but here what I'm going to do is use my Bissell hand steamer to steam the walls because the walls it just gets really tedious and honestly the higher up walls don't really get much soap or even water on them it's just kind of like the lower parts and just taking that steamer it allowed me to go over it one time and remove caked on soap that was on the tile and it just went super super smooth so this duo of the jaws cream cleanser and then the steamer on the walls might be my new magic combo for my shower. So how are you guys doing? Like I said, I think it was in last week's video, it's just that time of the year where the winter seems to drag on, at least here in Northwest Ohio. I think we had over two weeks without any sun and you don't realize how much the sun can lift your mood until it's gone for a while. And I notice myself when it's sunnier, I just feel more uplifted. I feel happier and I can see it in the whole family we finally had some sun last weekend. I think it was supposed to be sunny on Saturday. We did not get any sun. The forecast had called for it, but it just never peaked out. And then we got some on Sunday and it just seemed like such a happy day. And then we've had a few days this week and it's just really lifted my mood. So that's kind of like the good part to my week. When I, um, if you guys are new here, I share a good week and bad week to my week. The good week is we finally got some sun and it makes me excited for spring. I feel better. My mood is happier and everyone just seems happier. So we cannot wait for those sunny days here soon. Unfortunately, here in Northwest Ohio, it doesn't really get warm like enjoyable warm to sit outside until probably mid to late May. So we still got plenty of time, but we'll take what we can get. And if that's all we can get is the sun, but it's still in the 30s or the 20s, we'll take it. But let me know how you guys are doing. I, I truly hope you're hanging in there, you're doing well, and things are better and not too bad for you.
so after tackling the hardest part of the bathroom i was using my jaws foaming cleaner why is a foaming cleaner so much more fun <laughs> to use than a regular cleaner um i was using the foaming bathroom cleaner and then the jaws glass cleaner and i was going to be done here soon um but good week was the sun shining finally bad week i would say is we have a big project we have to tackle and i say we it's mike and i our garage is a mess if you've been around for a while our garage has always kind of been that area that we just never can seem to get clean or get it to stay clean and i know the reasoning it's because we don't get organizers for the garage and so i've kind of made it my mission i would like to this year organize the garage for good and it's just a project that's kind of looming over us um, Mike doesn't want to do it you know like I said he coaches he's going to coach the twins in t-ball this summer he coaches Avery he coaches all of Avery stuff he coaches all of the twin stuff he's also their basketball coach so you know he works full-time he coaches all of these sports which essentially is another job and you know like I can't really do it without his help there's a lot of heavy stuff in there and the garage is more of like his domain so it's a project that we have to tackle together and I know it's going to be a big big project and neither of us are excited about it but I was talking to him about it this week and I'm like no we, we really need to start down and like at least get a plan for how we're going to clean it out and organize it so stay tuned I hope I can share that with you guys but I'm really dreading it but I'm determined to get it done soon I know it's not fun, but you got to clean out your cleaning tools. And one of the things that I like about the Bissell carpet cleaners, this is like my third Bissell carpet cleaner, is they're really easy to clean. So that top part just pops off and it's just, it just, they make it easy to clean this machine. I have a Hoover. Um, it's a smaller one, but it, I don't think it's as easy. It's, it's definitely not as easy to clean. So I love this machine um, also because it's easy to clean. So I'm back for some more cleaning. It's the evening. It's almost time for the kid. I don't know why I looked at my watch. Um, it's almost time for the kids to go to bed. I think Mike's gonna put them to bed and I'm gonna do some cleaning up. I want to vacuum and mop. We have a very busy weekend coming up. And typically I will mop myself once over the weekend. And I don't think I'm gonna get a chance to mop this weekend because we have a softball tournament twins have a soccer game and Avery has a basketball game so we have a very busy weekend I don't think I'm gonna have time for much of anything this weekend so I figured I would get in an extra mop during the week to make up for not mopping on the weekend I do run my Norwal at least a couple of times during the week but our floors get pretty dirty with all of the traffic in and out and I just feel better if I at least physically mop at least twice a week gonna vacuum and mop got some laundry to fold drives me crazy when all of this is messy because this is like all day long we're in and out to school back from school running errands um, running to soccer practice running to softball practice and back and when this is messy it drives me crazy so this tends to be the drop zone for everything so I'm gonna do a little cleanup little cleanup back here and then do some vacuuming and mopping Why am I not like I've been most 
so you guys seem to like the good week and bad week that I share here and I've kind of started I've noticed kind of using this YouTube video I don't know for me I just like okay I get to clean with you guys but I also get to just chat with you I essentially look at it as kind of like a podcast without it being a podcast there's no way I could ever do a podcast by myself I would have to be like a co-host I would have to have someone take the lead because I don't think that I could lead on a podcast but I tend to listen to a lot of podcasts and sometimes I just like because I'll listen to them while I'm cleaning and sometimes I just want to hear someone talk about maybe what's going on in their life it can be so random and I tend to not even listen to like the heavier podcasts like sometimes I just like I'll listen to podcasts about reality tv or tv shows I'm watching or books and I just kind of like checking out a little bit especially when I'm cleaning because I feel like most of the time my brain is so clogged up with just life stuff you guys know how it is and when it comes to like my free time like whether it's tv or what I listen to for the most part I like to listen to stuff that just really doesn't really add much substance to my life other than it's just pure entertainment and I just like hearing people like randomly chat about their lives or I listen to one podcast where this uh the the host gives advice to people and even though like none of that ever really relates to my life at all like I just find it interesting so I've kind of used this um the, my voiceovers I felt like nowadays it kind of just turns in a way that I can kind of chat and connect with you and I'm just so grateful to have this community I don't feel like you guys are just followers or viewers of my YouTube video I truly feel like I'm chatting with you and this is the community so thanks for being here and thanks for allowing me to have a place that I can chat with you and I truly feel like I know you guys and I hope you feel the same so I hope you enjoy my random chats and I feel like we're friends just chatting away and cleaning So I decided to use the O Cedar packs um, just because it was at nighttime and they had a, a lavender scent. I actually really like the lavender scent. I do like using the powdered tide. You guys have probably seen me do that before. I like the scent of powdered tide because it's kind of like that clean laundry scent. But I just wanted to switch it up with the lavender scent. And as far as do I think these O Cedar packs, do they work better than the powdered tide? I mean, I don't really know. It's hard to tell. I, I think they do a good job. Like usually when I'm done mopping or if I try a new mopping product, I'll kind of feel the floor. I'll walk on it barefoot. I have a kind there's just different ways that I can kind of tell if a product is working or not. And I do think these work. I don't know if it works better than the powder tide or not. The powder tide is cheaper in the long term because you can buy a big box of it and you only use one teaspoon so I will always use that just because it's cheap and it does a good job and I do like the smell but I do like the convenience of these O cedar packs and I do like the lavender scent as well and I think they have a citrus scent as well I get the those from Amazon <music>
grab your laundry and let's fold together. So I was going to watch some reality TV. I've gotten into The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I never watched that. I do like The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Jersey, um, Orange County, New York. I never watched Salt Lake City, but then all of the drama, if you guys watch all of the drama for this season, or if you're just a reality TV lover, I'm sure you've heard, it was so explosive. I was like, all right, I'm going to start watching this. So I kind of started from season one. And so I've kind of gotten hooked. Um, and I have obviously have a lot of episodes to catch up on. So I was going to watch that, but I was listening to a podcast while I was mop vacuuming and mopping. And I got too hooked into that that I didn't even watch The Real Housewives. I was listening to Nick Vial's, Vial's podcast, um, The Vial Files. And he has like this Ask Nick um, segment, which I don't know why I like enjoy hearing other people's like issues or problems and like the advice he gives I just think it's just entertaining not entertaining like I don't I'm not saying that someone else's problems are entertaining but just interesting to see how other problems people have and what advice people get for those problems um because in some ways you can kind of relate that maybe if it's not the same situation maybe you can relate it in another way but um i've been listening to his podcast a lot and i think he gives pretty good advice he was on the bachelor and bachelorette he was never my favorite and he is a little um i don't know i, I really do like him um he was never my favorite on screen but i really like his podcast good it's been a productive week a long week but a productive week and i think the best part is i feel ready for the weekend like i said earlier we have a busy weekend and um i was just hoping i, I hate it when my house is messy specifically on the weekends and i don't know what it is it's because i try not to do really i try not to do much cleaning on the weekends more just like maintenance and i'm talking like bare minimum maintenance i am talking making sure the countertops are cleaned off wiped down um i'll usually run the norwal but i am talking like super basic like just making everything is picked up and wiped down off the floors and countertops and things like that and for some reason on the weekends i just hate when i'm walking around the house and it's messy and i'm assuming it's because then it signals to me like oh you should be cleaning up because i hate a mess anytime i walk into a room if there's a mess i'm like i want to clean it like i have to hold myself back from constantly cleaning because i just can't stand a mess but it's like i live with three kids like every time i walk in their rooms they're messy they they can't keep their clean their rooms clean every single day although i would love that i don't personally maybe for you you find it realistic it's not realistic for us we have the playroom and so anyways long-winded way <laughs> long-winded way to say when the house is messy on the weekends it drives me crazy during the week it's a little bit easier because mike's working the girls are gone and in and out and sometimes i just have like little pockets of time to clean but anyways i hate when the i hate when the house is messy on the weekends so we're going into the weekend and i feel good ready for a busy weekend at least the house is clean so that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for being here, sticking around to the very end. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you tackled some cleaning with me today, whether it was a task you hated doing or folded some laundry, whatever it is. I hope I motivated you. I hope you enjoyed our time together and I appreciate you. So stay tuned for another video next week. But again, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a fantastic week and I promise you can handle whatever comes your way. I know it probably feels like a lot if you're watching this on a Sunday or even a Monday morning, but I promise you, you can do it. Just try your best, get what you can done and the rest can wait. So anyways, have a fantastic week. I will see you guys next time. Bye.